Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Tonight I'm going out with the girls so I just thought I'd film a little get ready with me while I do my makeup for the night. I'm going out with the girls for dinner and drinks and because I don't actually drink alcohol I'm on the mocktails nice and early. After dinner and drinks we're all coming back to my place and we're going to watch the brand spanking new. I'm so excited Magic Mike XXL is finally out on DVD and Blu-ray. Actually technically it comes out on the 21st of October which by the time I upload this video that will be tomorrow. It comes out tomorrow you guys get excited. So we're gonna have a bit of a wild night in watching that. You might remember a couple of months ago I actually went to the premiere of Magic Mike XXL and I had the best time ever and then after it actually came out at the movies, I went and saw it with my assistant and my friend Bucket. And then I went to Melbourne and my cousin hadn't seen it, so of course I accompanied her there as well. So I've now seen the movie three times. I've loved it every time. I'm obsessed with the final dance scene with Channing and Twitch. Oh. Oh. Amazing. Do you think maybe that's too much of an obsession? with the movie with a character nah anyway that's enough talking from me for now i'm just too excited i'm going all chattery so please enjoy this little get ready with me video and i'll see you in the next one let's go starting off i'm going to apply the ula henriksen pure truth youth activating oil Woo! that was a long one this is one of my favorite products i apply it like four times a day probably and even though putting oil under makeup doesn't make it last as long I love how fresh it makes my skin look so I'm gonna go ahead and do that I'm now going to probably start with my eyes actually so I'm going to apply some concealer and I'm just going to apply the Maybelline fit me concealer we all know that's my favorite and the color I use is 20 sand sable and I pretty much always use this IT Cosmetics brush to apply my concealer. It's like a double-ended brush. Um, one end is flatter and one end is rounder. I have no idea what it's called. It doesn't have a name on it. But yeah, I love using it for my concealer. Now I'm going to apply the MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot in the color Groundwork. And I'm just applying that all over my eyelid, using it as a bit of a base for my eyeshadow. Now moving on to the Balm's Nude Tude Palette and the colour Sultry, which is another favourite of mine. And I'm just going to start applying that to the outer kind of third of my eyelid. You know what? I've changed my mind. I'm actually going to put some sticky tape down. So I make a really nice sharp line with my eyeshadow. So now I'm just kind of blending my eyeshadow into the guide. I honestly don't know how people talk their way through makeup. I want it to be like really chatty, be like, hey, how you doing? What's going on? And every time I go to talk, I just stop doing makeup. I actually feel like I want to warm this brown up a little bit. I know you guys probably can't take me seriously with these orange stripes on my face right now. Um, I'm going to use the Zoeva Cocoa Blend Palette. And I think I might use this color here, which is called Substitute for Love. And I'm going to use a Zoeva Lux Soft Crease Brush for this. Now I'm just dipping a clean, um, a clean eyeshadow brush into some loose powder or translucent loose powder. This one is by Laura Mercier and I'm just going to blend all that out. This helps to blend everything but it also just helps to keep it all in place. Sometimes cream products and even eyeshadow primers don't hold product as long as they should. Now for the fun part, I'm going to add some Australis Metallics eyeshadow in the colour Gold Gaga. And I'm just going to apply this to the centre of my lid using my fingers. I 
I have dipped my finger in this product before, but I've never applied it to my eyes and I love it. And I'm just using the 201 brush from the Bold Metals by Real Techniques range. And I'm using this brush because it's really great for blending and also because the fibers are synthetic, which makes blending creams and particularly glitters a lot easier than say a real fur brush, which just wouldn't do the trick for this. Just to make the metallic a little bit more dynamic, like it needs to be more dynamic, I've just added the Stila Magnificent Metal Eyes in the color Kitten. And I've just added that to the center of my eyelid. Now I'm going to use the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation. And I'm mixing the colors 153 and 115 to get my perfect shade. This is the latest addition to the family, so I might actually use that today. And I'll dampen it with the Fix Plus as well. Now my brows are really bugging me, so I'm going to quickly do those before I conceal. And I'm using the Hourglass Arch Brow Sculpting Pencil in the color blonde, as per usual. So what I like to do is I like to fill out the kind of first half of my brow, three quarters of my brow with this pencil. And then I like to go in with the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade and I'm using the color blonde. And I like to do my ends using that and an angle brush. Using that and an angle brush. And then I like to do my ends with that just so that they're really nice and perfectly shaped, I guess. Now I'm going to use Benefit's Gimme Brow in the color Light to Medium and I'm just going to kind of brush it into my brow hairs just to really thicken them up a bit. Now I'm going to conceal my pimples using the Kevin Orquan Sensual Skin Enhancer. I have no idea what color this is because it's completely rubbed off the label. You literally need like a pin size amount of this product because it spreads so well and the coverage is so amazing. I might actually put some underneath my eyes as well. And now just to brighten it up I'm going to use the YSL Touche Clay in number two. And then I'm going to set all of that in place with the Translucent Loose Powder by Laura Mercier. Now I'm going to use the Zoeva Luxe Petite Crease Brush to do under my eyes and I'm going to go back in with the Zoeva Substitute for Love shade. And then just darken that with the colour Sultry from the Nude Tude palette. And now I'm just going to blend all of that underneath my eye and up to here as well, just so there's no harsh lines. Now to finish off the highlight, I'm going to use Kitten by Stilla. Now I'm going to apply the Charlotte Tilbury Rock and Coal Iconic Liquid Eye Pencil in the color Barbella, Barbarella Brown. I'm just going to apply that to the inner rims of my eyes. Now I'm going to smother my eyelashes in mascara and I'm going to use a new NARS Audacious Mascara. Now I'm just going to add some Ardell individual lashes in between my natural lashes just to thicken them up a lot, not a little bit, a lot. Eyes are now done, so moving on to cheeks, I'm going to use the Laura Mercier Contour Palette. So I'm going to use Contour Number 1 and Contour Medium 2. I like to mix those together. And I like to actually use the Ray Morris Square Kabuki brush because it's so tiny and just is perfect for contouring. I basically just like to hollow out my cheekbones and then blend the contour a bit. And then any excess product I have on the brush, I just bring it up around my temples and up around my forehead. Now that contouring is done, I'll use the Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion Bronzer just on my cheeks. And then I'm going to add the Charlotte Tilbury Cheek to Chic Swish and Pop Blusher in the color Ecstasy. And yes, it does closely resemble a nipple. Now to highlighter, I am going to use the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the color Champagne Pop. I'm just highlighting the tops of my cheekbones, tip of my nose, and down to my cupid's bow. 
This is the highlight that Jaclyn Hill collaborated on with Becca to create and it's so, so beautiful. Damn, that girl knows how to highlight. Now I'm going to outline my lips with the Curtis Collection Velvet Lip Liner in the color Naked. I had actually planned to put a gloss over the top, but I'm kind of liking the matte lips with the metallic eyes. So I think I'm just going to leave my lips filled in with the lip liner and just leave it at that. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed the movie and I will see you in the next one. Oh, actually, before I go, I'm also doing a giveaway for the next few days you can enter. So I might actually show you a couple of the products that are in the giveaway. There is actually more than what I'm going to show, but I'll just show you a little bit for now as a bit of a sneaky peek. And if you want to follow me on Snapchat, then I'll have the entire giveaway featured on there. So we have this gorgeous little Zoeva clutch. It's pink on the inside. And the other thing that's exciting about the inside is that it comes with all these brushes. Yep, all of them included. Also from Zoeva we have the, I think it's called On Torp eyeshadow palette. There are some stunning neutral cool tones in that palette. I've literally only included things that I absolutely love in this giveaway so I really hope you appreciate the effort I've put in. I've also included the Saint Tropez Bronzing Mousse Self Tan, the Ulla Henriksen Three Little Wonders Kit. Ulla actually makes incredible skincare products, and I use a really similar one to this here while getting ready in this video. You would have noticed at the very beginning. Also by It Cosmetics, the Live Love Laugh Vitality Face Disc, which includes a highlight, a bronzer, and a cheek color. On top of that, there is also a bath kind of pack um, including like some body lotion and bath wash there's also a lipstick by Zoeva and what else is there Kerastase hair pack and I think secretly I might be adding a few more products as well I'm so excited to be giving away these products I'm very proud of myself for collecting the best of the best products that I truly truly love and use all the time so I think the winner will love them as well and yeah I'll make sure I leave all the details for the giveaway um, in the description box below and also I'll leave the photo here for what you need to look on my Instagram because it is an Instagram only competition. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. I'm gonna make you